Hi, it's another beautiful day in Reno, Nevada. I want to finish up this conversation we've been having about how to improve the performance of your employees. We started with the assumption that you had first identified your expectations for the performance, that you come to the meeting with the employee with an attitude of uh, really wanting to help and really caring. Um, you've had a conversation where you've tried to understand why they're performing or behaving the way they are and uh, you've partnered with them uh, to help improve the performance. There's some things that you're going to do and there's some things that they're going to do. You've talked about when you're going to follow up and how you're going to follow up. Uh, you've documented this conversation uh, for the very important point to show that you're really transparent, that you're going to be fair, and to also show that you're serious about uh, improving the performance. Now I think it's really important that you remember to follow up on all of these things that you've talked about because if you don't follow up um, it's all for nothing and actually you'll probably come out worse in the end. First and foremost make sure that you do the things you said you were going to do. Those things in the meeting that you agreed upon that you were going to do to help make sure you do them and deliver them. And then follow up with the employee when you said you'd follow up and how you said you'd follow up. Be there to follow up and make sure that they are coming through on the things that they said that they would do as well. You're going to get a couple of really important outcomes from follow-up. Number one, if it's successful, you're going to have an employee that has improved performance uh, or a changed behavior. That employee is going to understand this process so they could then go do this with other employees so you've multiplied yourself. And you've spread the story about who you are and how you deal with people, that you are, that you are serious about performance but that you are transparent and totally fair. Now, if it's a failure and you get to the point where it, the behavior doesn't change, the performance doesn't improve, and you might have to terminate the employee, it's very important how you get to that point. Never forget that even if that employee leaves, it's for the, you and the rest of the employees that are left, um, the foundation that you've laid to go forward from there and perform. So you want to make sure that you tell the story that that you got there in a fair manner, again, that you're totally transparent. And so those people that are left know that you will treat them fairly as you go forward to the future. All right, well, good luck with this. Again, uh, uh, would certainly welcome your comments or thoughts. Hope your day is as beautiful where you are as it is here in Reno, Nevada. Thank you.